Welcome back to Good Things Utah. Dina Marie is doing some good today. She is out and about live to learn how we can help out some of the kids in our state. Hi, Dina. How are you? Hi, Allie. I'm great. Wait until you hear how incredible this is, why I am here at USANA today. I've got Brian with me. He is president of the USANA Foundation. Tell me a little bit about your business. Well, USANA Health Sciences is a health and nutrition company. Some people think it's the amphitheater. No, it is a health and nutrition company that really works to help families and um, get achieve their optimal health around the world. And the USANA Foundation is an extension of that. So we go through all throughout the world helping um, malnourished children and families get back their health back. We provide food and nutrition, and it's it's an awesome thing. So. We're really excited about this because we want to make a difference right here in our own community. And so that's where the USANA Kids Eat program is come about and we're really excited about what's ahead with that. The statistics are startling. You were telling me that one in five children is hungry here in Utah. Right, and there's, there's about 56,000 kids that are on free or reduced lunch um, throughout the world or throughout Utah. And you know this is this program is is really working to help that and provide these uh, backpacks for the weekend full of food so these kids who you know have a meal at school but they go home very hungry and so that's what this is here to solve. Well, we're gonna go take a look behind the scenes, but before we do, you have some exciting news. Dr. Oz is coming for the grand opening, yes. right? We're so excited. We're launching this new facility, 17,000 square feet devoted to feeding kids, and that's launching next week on Thursday. Okay, let's take a look and hear what Dr. Oz has to say. Folks, one in five Utah children goes home to insufficient or no food every day. We gotta fix this. So join me as we open the brand new USANA Kids Eat facility so we can get more food in backpacks to give to kids because no child should ever go hungry. I'll see you there. Oh, okay, Michelle, congratulations. This is so exciting. And now here we are behind the scenes. Uh, things are getting ready to open. Tell us what we're taking a look at now. So what they're building today are the weekend bags. These are the bags that kids take home for the weekends. They have about seven meals in them. And so they sustain the kids over the weekends when they're away from school and they don't have the program that they usually get at school. And you are working directly with schools, with teachers, to get these to the right students, done in a very discreet way. Correct, yes. Um, a lot of the kids worry a little bit about the stigma. They don't, they don't want to be targeted as a kid who has to take home food. And so um, some of the bags that we pack are actually black. They're not marked in any way, and so that it can just look like a regular athletic bag. Um, a lot of times the teachers will put those in the student's backpack, and so it doesn't even show. It's just right in their backpack, and when they head home, then they've got it with them. Now you're always looking for volunteers. This makes a great team building activity. If you want to come out with your work, if you want to bring your family and just do some good in the community, um, I definitely want to come back. This has been such a special and emotional morning. Where can people learn more about your program? So you, they can follow us on social media. It's USANA Kids Eat. And our website is usanakidseat.org. And they can sign up to volunteer. They can come in, bring their families and uh, corporate groups. We'd love to have anybody come and that's also a place where you can um, donate. And we'd love to, you know, receive donations, but we just really want to get the word out into the community. This is a problem that is so big that it just can't be handled by one group. It needs to be everyone working together and we're providing this framework hoping that everyone will come out and utilize it. Oh, wonderful. Thanks for doing so much good. Thank well, you so thank much you for, for spending the time. Us. Back to you guys. Thank you, Dina. Love, love what USANA is doing and continuing the conversation about giving. Why not give local? 